the 100 season 2 episode 7 long into an abyss i think this was definitely a really great episode it was very very entertaining it was cool to watch you know everyone kind of have to deal with whether or not they should either leave the camp or stay in the camp because there are just so many different aspects with really both decisions like if we leave we have to find a whole new place to live there's no guarantee that we'd even survive out there we're barely surviving here as it is so there's that and then if we leave of course we'd kind of be abandoning everyone at um mount glenn and or mount weather and there's all this different all these different components and everyone has like a million different things to think about and i think one of the greatest confrontations probably the greatest confrontation in this episode of course came from the big decision between our current chancellor who's abby and our you know i guess like show chancellor i guess which is jaha and he comes back and it's like he technically doesn't have his position anymore and they kind of work things out and they have a confrontation which has never been their thing they've always been like the two that were very close like even when in season one it was like you know we have to decide whether or not to you know kill off a bunch of people all of these different things that they had to think about jaha was the leader but abby had a lot of power and she was you know they were always kind of working together but not officially working together of course but it was just really great to see them have this unbelievable confrontation where jaha was just worried like he like what he experienced was so much to him like we can't stay here like we have no chance they won't you know they aren't gonna listen to us we can't risk that because everyone will die and it was just a great moment like i love them in the little area and they were just having this big confrontation and you know, he was trying to have her relieved and get arrested by the officers, and instead, Abby got him arrested and put in the uh, blockade, and I thought that was just a great moment. It was really fun to watch that, because they never argued, really. Like, they had, they may have had, like, differences where it's like, you know, we have to have hope and stuff like that, but not to the point where they flat out had, like, this huge disagreement. Like, everyone has to leave or everyone has to stay, so it was really cool, and it was nice to see things kind of turn around with abby and just all the different decisions that she had to make and it was really cool to see that where she had to make those decisions like jaha made in season one where he has to kind of jump back and forth between you know saving everyone's life but knowing at the same time that saving everyone here means pretty much abandoning everyone at the mountain so it was just really cool to see that of course one of the best things and even though this is towards the end of the episode we got to see lincoln get revived and he's cured so that was really great. I love seeing that and everything, you know, kind of worked out. And it was really great to get that. I figured we would. I didn't think that he was actually going to die. Um, but it was great. Like, they did have that moment. I wasn't 100% sure. I didn't really know what was going to happen. I'm like, they can't kill this guy off because he's, like, the main grounder character. And it was weird. Like, I was like, I don't know what could happen. I didn't even think about the fact that they could use the um, electric baton as... Um, like a defibrillator which i thought was a genius idea that was actually really cool so you know i really enjoyed that he looked so different i didn't notice this in the last episode but with all the facial hair they had on him he looked like a completely different character because it wasn't like a little it was just like full beard and connected with the mustache and everything i was like he looks completely different it was weird looking at him like he looks nothing like he normally does because he's like you know bald head and you know no facial hair at all so it's just like the almost the opposite i mean he still had no hair but you know like the facial hair and stuff that was it was just interesting to see that but i thought it was really well done i thought this was a really good episode and we even got a little moment with finn and clark where it's like you know even if we save lincoln the stuff that he's done it'll stick with him he won't be the same guy and i enjoyed that because it's like it's from finn's perspective and clark said like we don't know that and you know finn said we do but of course he meant like you know i do like i based on what i just did trust me i know what i'm talking about so i actually like that scene because in this episode and they only did this like in bits and pieces we got to see him adapt a little bit in this one where he's not so upset about it and even clark isn't too upset about it and i enjoyed that too she kind of um accepted him a little bit she was trying to kind of help him out at least in like the very beginning they had a little scene which i enjoyed and that was pretty cool and that you know, I was looking up this episode because I had to find it online. And the next one is called Spacewalker. And so, of course, I saw that before I watched this episode. And I was like, oh, it's going to be about Finn. That'll be pretty cool. And I thought it would focus a lot on him, um, you know, just officially 
I can't say getting over, but kind of officially accepting what had happened and being able to move on without being crippled mentally by what he'd done in that village. And it still could take place, you know, that still could be a big aspect of next week's episode. But, you know, it'll be a huge component as well that he may or may not end up surviving in this next episode. I hope he does. I do like his character. He's done some stuff that, you know, is admittedly, like, I don't approve of. Like, simply put, and like, the season one, like, he honestly, I think I mentioned this when, when we first found out who Raven was. It was like, he cheated on her, and they were on the ground for, like, a week. And he had, like, he completely already, like, just skipped right over that. And so it was kind of like, after that, it's like, technically he's a cheater, so... You know, it's like, I can't like him off a of principle for that. But as a character, I like him. I mean, he's well-written and stuff, and now he's really going crazy. So who knows what's going to be happening in this next episode. But it will be a really, really big focus on him. And I'm excited to see what does happen, because, you know, it's this show. Like, you never really know what's going to happen. Like, some stuff you can guess in the moment. I was really sure in this episode that Dante was going to get killed by his son when they went outside. I was like, he's pretty much whenever I see two characters like that where it's like you know one character is the leader and the other character is doing something secret whenever those two characters go out anywhere alone and like the leader turns their back I'm like he's gonna get shot or somehow he's gonna be dead and I was so sure that he was gonna kill his dad in this episode but I'm, I was really glad that didn't happen but you have moments like that where sometimes you can tell what's gonna happen sometimes you can't so you know, this, I think there's a really good balance in the show. Like, with the scene with Anya when she was killed, I kind of saw that coming because I'm like, they're standing near this gate. Of course, Clark being the main character, she won't die, but, you know, Anya, I'm like, she's going to get killed off here, and she definitely did. And then there are other scenes where some stuff just doesn't happen like you might expect. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with Finn. I don't know if he's... Like, he could end up running out on his own. He could end up, like, deserting the whole thing and saying, like, you know, tell them I took off or something so that he doesn't die, but, you know, the Grounders don't attack everyone in the camp either, so that way it's kind of like, we were gonna give him up, but at the same time, we couldn't because he took off on his own because he was scared or something, so they could end up doing it that way, where he ends up having, like, his own little storyline or something like that, that somehow does something, I don't really know, but I'm excited to see what they do for sure, because we got this truce, they're gonna go in, hopefully very soon to the mountain and take these people out i don't like and that's another weird thing about the show it's like hard to really know who they should take out like honestly and this is one of the weird things about the show the main leader they don't know that he isn't the bad guy it's like he's okay like they to even though they do technically take the grounders and use them to kind of go outside and stuff that's not exactly great to do but it's one of those survival things where you can kind of accept it but at the same time it's like it kind of sucks and that's because you know of course we aren't like fighting in wars and stuff but honestly if they go outside everyone just attacks everyone so it's almost like you kind of can't consider them bad guys because of that because as soon as you go out anywhere you know the grounders are going to attack the people from the mountain the mountain people are going to attack them from the ground everyone from the arc is getting attacked and they're attacking everyone so like everyone just attacks everyone almost immediately like on site so you can't really consider anyone a bad guy just based off of that because everyone's just like all right you know they're not us they're enemies automatically so people start shooting and stabbing automatically like that it's hard to classify them as bad but then you see some of the other stuff like what uh dante's son is doing what cage is doing and uh dr singh and those two are definitely bad. I definitely don't like them as characters because they're kidnapping kids. They've started and, you know, they've kind of gotten, they've officially gotten to the point where it could kill the kids. And they've gone through um, the whole bone marrow thing, which is incredibly painful for people to go through. And I only know that based on, like, a movie. Like, honestly, the Incredible Hulk, I'll be honest about that. But, you know, going into someone's bone, that's very painful, like you can imagine. And they showed it in this episode. I was thinking when she said, like, oh, it won't hurt. I was like, I don't know how this isn't going to hurt. And then, of course, she drills into her bones. And the girl's screaming like crazy. And, you know, she's going to disappear. And, of course, Monty and Jasper are going to be wondering, you know, what's going to happen to us now because they're already taking people. And, you know, of course, we can't just ask questions because they'll instantly, you know, be taken next. So I love their moment in this episode. And we got to see them sneak into the office and do their own thing and, it was nice they have the map now they know that 
um, there are people from the Ark that are alive. They have a full setup camp and everything. So they have hope. They're still stalling for time. I don't know how much they have now because things are not looking too great. And even by the end of the episode, Dante seemed like he was kind of being swayed to be a little bit evil. Like in this episode again, he showed that he's a character worth liking, not just because he's the leader of these people, but because he's actually a good guy. He's over and over again has told his son, like, I won't go that far. We've already done horrible things to the people on the ground. Like we can't taint our legacy as human beings even more by, you know, like taking the blood out of these kids and just, draining the life out of them so every time he has that it's like i like his character because he stands firm and then it's like at the end of this episode he's like looking at this little flower and he's painting the picture which they didn't show but i have to assume it was him painting what he saw outside and you know he kind of just drops it and it's like man it's a little worrying that he's getting to this point like i had the experience i walked outside i picked up a flower off the ground and i sniffed it and i you know, I lived, so, you know, it seemed like he was getting swayed a little bit by the end of the episode, and it would really suck to see him just instantly, well, not instantly, but, you know, to see him turn, and it's like, you know, he, he got that first taste, and he might do it again, where it's like, oh, let me get some blood here, and I go out, and for, like, a couple minutes, and then he does that enough times, it's like, I can't help it, but want to go out pretty much for the rest of my life, so, you know, I'm worried that he will end up turning at some point, but by that time, they might end up already being in, like, a crazy war against, you know, the Grounders plus the Ark Forces. So, I don't know how that's going to play. I'll have to wait and see that. But I'm sure that won't, none of that stuff will take place until, like, maybe, like, the last three or four episodes of this season. But I definitely enjoyed this one. I can't wait to see what they do with Finn in this next episode. I'm assuming he'll survive, but I don't know. I mean, they haven't really killed off a main character since um wells in like episode three so i don't think they're really going to do that but if they did it would be unbelievable to see that it would be an interesting dynamic to how it changes a lot for the show i just don't think they will though but love this episode of course comment below let me know what you guys thought about it your favorite part your least favorite parts and what do you guys think is going to happen to finn and also what do you want to happen to finn because you know what you think is going to happen probably isn't what you want so do you want him to survive do you care about his character would you do you prefer if he died off because i know excuse me i know a lot of people um now read like a ton of other reviews a lot of people didn't give a crap at all about finn even when he kind of went crazy everyone was just like you know i didn't like his character at all it kind of it was a good moment for his character but it kind of made people like his character less because it's not a likable moment it was just a very entertaining moment and you know, I think it's kind of turned a lot of people against him even more so. Like, I personally like this character. Like I said, based on principle, I kind of couldn't like him because he cheated on his girlfriend and all this other crap. But, you know, that mixed with the fact that he did kind of go nuts and he killed a bunch of people in a village, old people and, you know, even kids. It, I'm sure it's changed how a lot of people see his character. Like, he did one bad thing, with, which was like, you know, cheating on someone. It was probably not that big of a deal to people. And then him like officially just going nuts and like murdering this village probably affected people in a a much different way compared to what he done in season one so what do you guys think is going to happen to finn and of course like i said what do you want to happen to finn i want him to live personally and i assume he will because i don't think they're going to kill off a main character they you know like i said they haven't done that since season one so they could it would you know admittedly it would be uh time wise it would kind of work out and be like you know it it would be even later than they did in season one. I mean, like it was the first season, so four episodes in they kill someone off. But it would be very interesting to see. I well, like I said, I think he's gonna live. I want him to because I like him as one of the characters within the show. But I wanna know what you guys think. So like I already said, comment below, let me know, and thanks for watching.